this recording will demonstrate the functions associated with viewing and managing supply chain information in the animal drugs and manufacturing system or Adams database. The Adams supply chain list is a tool used to manage the overall information on supply chains that identifies the detailed roles each establishment fulfills within the manufacturing process of a drug substance or drug product. To view the Adam supply chain rules, click on the tools from the main menu and hover over the Adams book. Then click on Adam supply chains. This will open up a new window. To view the supply chain list. Note that this application provides a helpful link to CVM eSubmitter product quick book guide that provides additional instructions. This application displays a screen of all supply chain rules that are currently entered for the selected establishment within the Adams repository. Note that only the establishments being designated with a supply chain role can be shown in the view supply chain list. If we select an establishment without a supply chain role, it will not be displayed on the list. To add the supply chain, add on supply chain roles, you can simply click on new, or you can go through the tools and then hover over the Adams book and then click on add on supply chain roles and the pop-up window will show up. You may add a supply chain role association between an establishment or the file application. To add a supply chain role, either the file application or establishment must be selected first. For instructions on viewing and adding new, supply, new establishment, please refer to a recording on Adams establishments. To select the file from the currently existing list, click the select button adjacent to file and application. This will open up a new window for the product description selection. You can select establishment document from the pre-existing list and then click on select. This will bring you to the, or return to the Adam supply chain list. Similarly, you can select the establishment to add the supply chain list by clicking select button adjacent to establishment. This will open up a new window to select the establishment. You can select the establishment. It will return to the Adams establishment list. Once the file or establishment has been selected, click a new to add a new supply chain role. This can be done by click, clicking on new and a pop-up window will appear to add the new supply chain. This application provides the data entry capabilities such as role, entity, qualifier, operational status, approved submission ID, master file reference, substance reference. All these details can be filled off for the supply chain role. We will go through each data entry capability on the screen in detail. First, the supply chain information. It is a required information and represents the activity the establishment is performing. This information can be added by selecting the drop down list by clicking on the arrow here. You can see this list includes various options for supply chain roles such as laborer, manufacturer, packager, particle size reducer, re repackager, secondary packager, sterilizer, storer, tester, et cetera. Or you can add the other manually. Next one is entity. Similarly, the entity is a required field while describes, which describes the what portion of the manufacturing process the supply chain role applies to. It can be added by selecting from the drop-down list next to entity. 
This includes drug product, drug substance, excipient, and intermediate or any other. Note that you can choose multiple roles or entities for an establishment. However, each role or entity has to be added individually so that the approval or the operational status and other information for each of this role or entity can be tracked. Establishment information related to excipients, for example, manufacturer or tester, does not need to be submitted unless it is a novel or critical excipient. Component suppliers or testers also do not need to be submitted. However, if an establishment has a drug product release responsibility, they should be reported. Next one is qualifier. It is a required entry for the drug substance or tester. It's not applicable for any other rules or entities. The qualifier further refines the information related to the drug substance manufacturer or the role of tester. Note that the qualifier entry option is available only when entity is a drug substance or role is a tester. For example, here we have selected drug substance. Then the drop down menu for the qualifier shows either it is synthetically manufactured, fermentation, semi synthetic, biotechnology, or any other method. For a tester, if, if the role is selected as a tester, the qualifier lists the options such as in process, chemical, physical microbiological or biological. Operational status. It is an optional entry. Operational status can be selected from the drop-down menu, which includes the options such as pending, approved active, approved inactive, or withdrawn. Similarly, Approved submission ID is an optional entry. You can also add the approved submission ID. The approved submission is the submission, maybe in the original or reactivation, where the establishment was approved. If it is unknown, it can be left blank, but you should provide as much information to help CVM in finding the date of approval or a year or a month. Next is master file reference. Here you can add the associated master file by selecting yes or no. If the status yes, then the master file reference can be added by clicking on select next to MF reference. This will open up a new window to add the details for the master file reference. This application will connect you to the master file book, which you can select the, from where you can select the master file. Note that this application is not implemented yet. Another option to add the master file is from the master file book, where you can click on Adam's book, and then you will see the application for master file book and you can reference the master file associated with the file application or establishment. The master file book displays the information such as master file type, which can be DMF or VMF, master file number, or, and master file type, which can be type two, type three, type four, type five. The master file book application will also display the ownership status, it will also display if LOA is included, what information is covered, and last time when the master file was updated. Last update to master file reference was made. Next one, you can see the master file reference is added. The substance reference, which is required when applicable, if you select the drug substance as an entity, the substance reference field is getting, it gets activated. When the referencing a substance, click on the select next to the substance reference, 
and a pop-up window will show up to enter the details about the substance. To enter the substance information from FDA substance registration system, you can perform a keyword search. For example, here, and you will see the options for the ivermectin ingredient name will show up. You can select from this list, or the second option is to manually enter the substance into the enter substance name. You can also add the additional information such as establishment use code, establishment activities performed. And you also have an option to put co comments for your internal use for the supply chain role. To search and sort the items supply chain roles, the supply chain list starts out empty until the search has been initiated. The supply chain list contains the document and establishment references. It also includes the supply chain rules or entity or qualifier, the operational status, new operational status, approved submission ID, use code, substance, master file, and when was the last update made to this supply chain role. Sponsors are able to search the supply chain role list by filtering by file or application and establishment. Only selecting an establishment will display all supply chain roles associated with that establishment across all documents. Only selecting a file application will display all supply chain roles associated to that file application across all establishments. Providing both an establishment and a file application will display all supply chain roles associated to the combination of establishment and file application selected. Selecting both items limits the search of supply chain items. The default sort order for the establishment when a file or application selected and a document when an establishment is selected. You can see its document is the uh, default sort order here. If you go into the file application, the establishment will be your default uh, selection for the sort order. The sort order available includes the document, establishment, role entity, qualifier, CVM operational status, new operational status, substance, master file, document. The supply chain list will be recorded when a sort order is selected. If you would like to remove all search terms, simply click on the clear button on the top. In addition, there is a, a column, uh, there is a space to include the sponsor comments for their internal use for the selected supply chain items. You can also edit the supply chain role by clicking on edit, which is located at the bottom of the screen. You can start also start editing by double clicking on the entry on the list. Supply chain role can be deleted by selecting the establishment from the Adam supply chain role supply chain. And that can be done by clicking delete, which is located at the bottom of the screen. To view the supply chain role report, users have options of viewing the supply chain report for only the selected supply chain or all supply chains within the list. To view the report, simply select the view button after selecting the desired facility. Only one supply chain can be selected or multiple chains can be selected. When you select one of these options, a dialog box will open up, which gives the option to select which supply chains to output. As you can see, you can export only the selected supply chains or all supply chains in the list. This concludes our tutorial on the supply chains 
through the Adams Drugs and Manufacturing System or Adams database. Thank you.